Welcome back to my channel. My name is Serena. And I'm Peach. And today we're going to talk about four ways of studying Korea. Like how you could come here and study in Korea either like long term or like short term. Without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first way that you can come to Korea to study in Korea is the Korean language program. Basically, the Korean language program, after you finish high school, you come to Korea and just study the Korean language. It's not a degree or something, it's just a program. Language school program. I already make a lot of videos about the Korean language program, so you guys definitely should check out my other videos. I'm gonna link everything down below. So don't forget to watch it if you want to know more about the Korean language program. And then the second way for you to come to Korea and study here is the undergraduate degree. So Peach, can you explain a little bit? So basically the undergraduate program is just you coming here and taking the degree for four years. Other than that, we also have like diploma. Oh yeah. Yeah, for uh, three or two years and then you're gonna transfer for another two years taking your degree. So basically the undergraduate just coming here to actually study yeah. the major that you want. Like yeah, yeah. For example, for me, I want to study business administration. So I come here to study the undergraduate degree in business administration and Peach, she's taking mechanical engineering here. So like around four, four years, around that time. And then the third one would be the exchange student program. The exchange student program would be about you already in your university, in your home country, and you're going to come here for maybe, I don't know, one semester, two semester, like a short term. But you originally have your own university, you just come here to Korea, one of the universities here in Korea, and, and take the courses here like a few semester. The university basically exchanged the student. And also another short-term program is the fourth one, HISS. So basically HISS stands for Hanyang International Summer School. The, the name itself is self-explanatory, but basically it's a program held by Hanyang. However, it's not just limited to Hanyang students. They also open applications for other students from other universities throughout the world. Hanyang University students can apply. You mean like who is eligible to apply for this program? Mm -hmm. Obviously Hanyang University students and other undergraduate students. About HISS, if you're in like partnering university with Hanyang University, you can apply here. You can actually get discounts like the tuition fee. If you want to apply for HISS here in Hanyang, you can ask your university if they have like partnership program with Hanyang University and you can apply here to get the you can get the discount. discount. And not to forget the application has already opened. It's until May 21st for other students. However, for Hanyang students, it's going to open on the May 26th until May 28th. Only for three days. Don't forget to mark your calendar so you don't miss out. Right now it's already May, so if you're interested to take this year's HISS, you can straight go apply to the link. I already gonna link everything down in the description box and the comment section. So if you're interested to know more about HISS, I'm gonna make another video like more detail about this. You can get the brochure at the website. I'm gonna link everything down below. So for HISS, it's gonna be a four-week course. So you can opt for like fully online or two weeks online and two weeks you're gonna go to offline class. That's what we call the hybrid. Hybrid, yeah. I personally would recommend hybrid because you can actually come to Korea and experience the life studying abroad here in Korea as well as trying the culture activity. Talking about culture activities, like what kind of activities we're gonna do? They're offering us seven activities, but you can choose up to three activities. So the seven activities mentioned are going to Everland. Everland, that's like the best theme park in yeah, Korea. Yeah, Korea's largest theme park. Okay, and second, going to Hedi Art Village. Third one is Sokcho Tour. Fourth one is Namsan Tower and Han River Cruise. If you come to Korea, that's like, you need to go there. A must go to place, mm -mm. the Namsan. The fifth one is a one-day palace pass and hanbo. And the sixth one is K-pop dance. And last but not least, the world and tower. So that's that. That's the seven activities they're offering to Hanyang International School students. And then fun fact, in HISS, 
all of the classes, all of the courses, they are all taught in English. So if you don't know Korean language, you can just apply here and take all the English courses. You don't need to worry about the language. And also the courses provided ranges from your major and elective. From, yeah, elective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so as for the fees, obviously the hybrid is going to cost a little bit more than the online course. For online, it's going to be 1,600,000 Korean won. But this is for the partner university. If your university is not a partner university with Tanya University, it's going to cost you 2,200,000. For the hybrid, the partner universities is going to cost 1,900,000. However, for the non-partner universities, it's going to cost you 3100000 This is the poster. I'm going to insert. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's all for today's video. I already talked about the four ways of studying in Korea, which is the Korean language program, and then the undergraduate degree, as well as the exchange student. And then lastly, the one that we are focusing on in today's video is the HISS. So that's all for today's video. Thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Follow my Instagram because I'm gonna post more about the HISS and all of this study in Korea vlog, Korea vlogs. And then don't forget to watch my other videos as well because I already did a lot of videos regarding the Korean language program and yada yada yada. So yeah, thank you again for watching guys. Bye! Bye!